everyone, it's Mrs. Englade again. Hey, I thought I would just give you a few more problems um, for us to be able to look at how to add those mixed numbers so that you can be comfortable with it if you need to see a few more examples. Um, and if the worksheet's not right in front of you, you might just want to jot these down on a scratch sheet of paper and work those through with me. Number 11 says, 11 and 7 tenths plus 4 wholes. Well, there's really nothing over here as far as a fraction goes to add to it, so we're just going to add 4 wholes onto my 11 and 7 tenths. So that's pretty easy. 11 wholes plus 4 more four mo wholes is 15, and then our fraction is 7 tenths. So that one was pretty easy. All we had to do was add our whole numbers together. Number 13, we have 7 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 7 eighths. When I look at my 4 and my 8 as my denominators, I notice that I need to have a common denominator, and that common denominator is going to be 8, because I can make my force into 8s by cutting each of those pieces into two more pieces, or it's the second equivalent fraction, right? So 3 fourths would be the same as 6 eighths. 7 eighths would be the same as 7 eighths. It does not change, right? So now I can add my eighths together. 6 eighths plus 7 eighths gives me 13 eighths. And my whole number 7 plus 2 is 9 and 13 eighths. Now the problem with that is, is that this does not, this is an improper fraction. This is more than one whole. So this is going to be another name for 1 and 5 eighths because this one is 8 eighths, right? And 5 eighths more makes that 13 eighths. So all together in simplest form, I have 10 and 5 eighths, okay? Number 15, 7 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 5 sixths. Looking at my denominators, I have thirds and sixths. My LCD is six when I think about multiples of three and multiples of six. My LCD or my least common denominator is six. So 5 6 is going to stay the same as 5 6. 2 thirds, I'm going to cut those thirds to make 6. I'm going to cut each of those thirds into two pieces, aren't I? And so 2 thirds, when it's my second equivalent fraction, is going to be 4 6. So when I add these together, 4 6 plus 5 6 is 9 6. And 7 plus 1 is 8. So, oops, not 9 sixteenths, 9 sixths. What's wrong with 9 sixths? Hopefully you're noticing that that's more than one whole, right? So we could rewrite 9 sixths as 1 and 3 sixths, because 6 sixths is this one whole. And I add them together, I get 9 and 3 sixths. There's still something wrong. It's not in its simplest form. We always want to ask ourselves, is this in simplest form? And the answer is no. 3 sixths is the same as one half, dividing by three there on both of those, right? On to number 17, five and three eighths plus seven and one fourth. My common denominator here would be eight. It's not the only common denominator, but it is the smallest one. We could also have um, 32 there, right? We could also have 16. We could also have as big as 80 if we wanted, but our smallest one that is um, common is 8 there. So 3 eighths would stay 3 eighths, but 1 fourth, it is the second equivalent fraction to 1 fourth because 4 times 2 is my 8, so 1 times 2 is 2. When I add 3 eighths plus 2 eighths, it gives me 5 eighths, and 5 plus 7 is 12. And that 5 eighths does not, uh, cannot simplify any lower, and so we are in good shape. My final answer for number 17 is 12 and 5 eighths. I hope that some of these um, examples helped you a little bit more understand how to add mixed numbers. Thank you.